Hi everyone and welcome to another video from Divine by Design. I've been getting a lot of inquiries on my Facebook page as to how I do my Swarovski designs on shellac nails and get them to stay on without coming off until basically you bring your client back in for another service and remove. So I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration today. What I've done to start is I have pre-cured this nail pop. This has got one coat of wildfire and one coat of decadence. It still has the tacky inhibition layer at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a plastic back pad, um, some 99% isopropyl alcohol, and you don't have to remove the tacky layer off the whole nail. You can if you want to. It doesn't make any difference with the longevity of the service. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove it roughly where I'm going to do my design. So that's just removed it there. Now, take some CND gel bond. This can be used normally for tips and things like that. Now, I bought this originally as I started when I trained doing tips, but now I sculpt. I don't tend to use tips anymore, to be honest. So this one's been spare. Pop some, again, onto a plastic back pad. A little trick I've learned, actually, is if your glue starts to get a little bit around the outside and get stuck together, drop a bit of solar oil just on the neck and close it up again and you never have the problem opening and closing it. Take an orange wood stick, you can use any sort of orange wood stick, I normally buy mine quite cheap off eBay to be honest. Give the glue a little mix and then if you know what design you're planning on doing, I'm just going to see what happens as I do this one, pop the glue roughly where you're going to be doing it. Now you don't want to apply too much at a time here because it does set not relatively quickly as it is the gel bond, you've got a bit of time to play with it. What I have over here is I've got some uh, Swarovski elements, the, the AB crystals. I've got them in size SS5 and SS3. Now, where I buy mine from, they do have to order in the SS3 specially because it's quite unusual to go that small. The pencil I'm using here, again, is just off eBay and it's just a gem cut picking up crystal pencil. Sort of have a think about the design you want to do. I'm just going to see where we go with this one. But you just pick up your crystals and pop them onto the gel bond. If you need a bit more gel bond, go ahead. Do give them a pat down as well. You don't want them sliding around all over the place. What's quite good is if you do get any of the white from the pencil on the crystals, once they're set, it wipes off really quickly with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. Now this design I'm doing here is sort of just a derivative of one that's very popular with a lot of my clients. They tend to have this on the ring finger and uh, sometimes the thumb as well. But you can do any design you like. Um, one of my most recent ones was a treble clef for a client and that turned out really, really well. That was a lovely one, that one. So here's the finished design. All I've done here is I just applied the glue wherever I wanted to put the crystals, just sort of a sweeping design. You can do this at the base of the nail, at the tip or anything else you fancy. I've done a variety of designs. If you want to take a look at my Facebook page, I'll put it on at the end, but it's www.facebook.com forward slash divine by design CND nails. And there's quite a few pictures on there, a few others. So what we do is we leave this three minutes or so to set. And once it's set, we're going to top coat it and cure it in the light. So we've cured the um, nail pop now or the nail for two minutes I just applied one layer of top coat now some people I know do apply two but personally I find that one is absolutely sufficient it will last fine because you've applied with the gel bond and as you can see there that way they still stay very sparkly take it as thin as possible over the crystals it doesn't matter about it like I say it gives them a little bit of extra sort of staying power but it really is the gel bond underneath that's holding it there. As long as you make sure you seal the entire nail when you do it, it will last absolutely fine. So there we go. That's a very quick demonstration for you. If you have got any requests of anything that you'd like in particular, anything you see off my Facebook page or anywhere else that you'd like to know how to do, by all means, drop me a line. Um, you can get me through on Facebook or on my website at www.divinebydesignbeauty.com. And thanks very much for watching.